Okay. Let's see if I can hear myself. Not because I have the wrong output. Okay, I can now. Okay. We are alive. Swipe up. We are alive. Okay. Let's see if it actually works. Well, no clue. This is actually my first dream of this kind. So, um, let me share the link on my Instagram. Okay. We are. Let's go. We are alive. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, today we're gonna take apart this little bad boy, which is the Game Boy Advance. It's not in the greatest shape ever. And this is why I'm taking it apart, because I want to clean it up a little bit better. And let's change the positioning of the webcam. Okay. I think you can see it better if I remove the mouse pad. Yeah, that's definitely better than me. So, this is the Game Boy Advance. And all we need to do is remove the uh, game markers. We need to remove these four screws, which are Y shaped, like it doesn't focus. Let me fix it <coughs> real quick. Uh, 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 I need to open Droid Cam. Okay. And boom, you can see it, nice. We need to unscrew these four screws, six, sorry, I'm stupid. Then we need to remove the batteries, of course. And remove this, this screw. It's pretty easy, nothing. Possible. So let's get into it. Uh, I need to take the other screwdrivers, which are right here, and okay. this should be everything you need to prepare this. Okay, let's. Uh, let me open OBS yes, so I can see if you see it well. Uh, uh, the only real thing that you may uh, don't have yet to unscrew and tear down this Game Boy is the Y shaped uh, screwdriver. I had to buy it, but it's super cheap. I think I bought it for like 3 euros from Amazon or something like that so no real issue okay you go let's go with the third one there you go it would be better if you could collect these screws like in a I usually use a glass so that I cannot uh, lose them. Can you hear me, by the way? Yeah, you can, right? Maybe a little bit higher. Okay. Not sure. How's the quality? Uh, because as I said earlier, this is my first stream of this kind. So. And there you go. Fifth and sixth. Why is it not coming up? Hmm. 
it's been a while since I've opened I last opened it, so it's pretty uh, tough to get these screws out. Okay. Here we go. Then we need to unscrew this one with the uh, Phillips screw driver. So uh, this one, which is the just the standard one, you know. And we can remove it. Okay. I actually use a magnet to remove these screws because it's way easier. I don't have to broke my nails and so on. And now it should come loose pretty easily. Yeah. That's it. So let me take my phone so that I can show you a little bit deeper. Let me open drive cam. Shin Sin 2. Uh, as you can see, this is the game ball. We have the game chart. As you can see, all the pins are right here. We have the uh, power on. No, sorry. Yeah, power on and off switch right here, which we can remove for the moment. We have the volume wheel and the headphone jack. Then this is the display connector, which is super easy to remove, I'll show you in just a second. And these plastic parts, which we need to remove, like this. We're actually going to uh, clean this, because uh, they're, they're not in the worst shape ever, but it could be better, let's say like this. Okay, let's pass to CN2. Okay. And uh, here we go. We have another two screws to remove. One right here, one right here. Let's get them out of the way. One out. And also the second one, it's not up. I need my magnet, I think. I can also place it on the screwdriver so it's way more uh, magnetic. And here we go. We need to unscrew this little cable now, which it's pretty easy, no huge problems. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit closer. We need to pop these connectors uh, okay I'm actually going to need to use oh wrong camera all you need to do is pop these two pins right here you just need to Press them, even in, on with the screwdriver or something like that, it's just fine. Okay. They're loose. Now with this plastic plier or some other uh, thing, you can try to remove this cable gently. <laughs> wrong, you need to unclip this uh, connector so that it uh, sticks out of the board and this is the main board let me show you with this secondary capture okay. <coughs> sorry, this is the main board as you can see this is the CPU on ARM CPU of course uh, from 2000 this is 20 years old and it still works just fine uh, these are the contacts for the uh, buttons this is A and B this is the speaker which is in pretty bad shape I'll be honest but uh, it still works so I don't think I'm gonna uh, remove it and place another one this is the select and start 
buttons, as you can see here, select start. And uh, what are other things we can say about this board? This is the charger, shoulder buttons right here, and the back we've already talked about it. So that's it. If you need to uh, clean some parts, or if your, let's say, a button doesn't work, you're gonna need to clean these parts off because you should have some dust or something like that that blocks the contacts from these parts to these metal contacts so that's what you need to do but now we're going to clean the rest of the Game Boy, the outside because that's what is mainly dirty so remove this contact pads. We're gonna use some alk isopropyl alcohol, 99%, so that we are sure we broke nothing whatsoever. Let's remove the buttons. A and B buttons. They are also not in the best shape, so we're gonna fix that too. Select and start button. Those are pretty clean. So maybe uh, we won't touch them. And the uh, gamepad right here, which is composed of two parts as the buttons. This um, rubber part, which made, makes contact with the uh, motherboard. And this plastic part, which is what you actually uh, touch the game and so on. To clean this part, I'm actually willing to replace this uh, glass part, but plastic part, sorry. I'm not sure if it's glass or plastic, by the way. I don't have it right now, so I might make a video if I buy one of this, but it's pretty easy to remove it because you only need to remove this soft uh, part. Then you've got the screen right down here and you can snap this out of the controller we're also going to clean this part right here because we've got some dust and some dirt, dirty stuff in here and that's what we're gonna do let me Okay, so uh, let's first make this mess a little bit better because I don't want to lose any part. So let's place uh, these together. These screws are for the mobile, so let's get them out of here. This is a shoulder button, plastic part, main thing. All the outside screws are right here. This is the uh, gamepad. Shoulder button, another plastic part, volume rocker, and selects and start. Okay, so uh, I actually need to find the alcohol because I've lost it <laughs> um, one second I'll be here this is it I'm gonna use a 99 degrees alcohol so uh, because this evaporates really quickly so even if you accidentally let them let it on the mobile you won't create any damage or something like that and it's also non-conductive which is a massive thing 
when you talk about electronics. So let's start with the casing, I would say. Just a quick wipe around all the case so it's cleaner. Uh, especially the edges because that's where the gross stuff comes. So that's where you're likely gonna find some dust and so on. Okay. Also clean the uh, card game slot so that um, when you insert the game you won't have any problem whatsoever to um, in reading the game you know because one that's one of the most common problems with this uh, Game Boy that the card for the game it's not read by the Game Boy or something like that and yet another I'm using toilet paper <laughs> because I don't have uh, a microfiber cloth, but this is just fine. Just make sure you don't leave any piece of it around the controller. Also, if you have problems with power connection and so on, make sure to clean this context because that's uh, where you likely have a problem. Okay, I would say it's clean enough right here. Let's pass through to this part right here. A ah, nice clean to the uh, screen right here, all around the buttons because that's one of the other parts that uh, is more dirty, and also that could make some problems. Okay, it's clean enough. Let's also clean it from the inside. Okay. Uh, let's take another piece of toilet paper. Uh, 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 let me fix just the thing. Okay, everything's fine. Um, um, um. Okay, oh yes, I lost it. <laughs> okay. uh, we need to clean the A and B buttons. But, uh, the old where the buttons go. We also can use a spotter if the if you have like pieces of stuff that you don't want to see on your controller, or if you just want to clean it um, deeply, which is always a nice thing to be honest. Okay, let's clean it off. Let's also take a small piece of paper and let's need to and let's place some alcohol right on it. Okay. Then I can place it on the spudger and clean like this the buttons. This should come pretty pretty uh, clean as we finish it so let's make sure to clean every part right here okay we also need to clean the speaker holes because they're pretty dirty mm -hmm. okay Here we definitely need this podger because the holes are so small that you can't clean them otherwise. Okay. I think I'm gonna actually drop some alcohol right inside this hole. I need to be very careful 
Okay. It went inside of it. Nice. Let's clean it. Okay. And this is done. So let's remove this piece right here. Also around the corner the corner of the glass it's pretty dirt, but this is actually pretty difficult to get into it. I turn it up for tweeters. Which is right here. Let's try to remove all this stuff right here. Okay, it's coming out actually. So let's keep doing this. Of course, you need to be careful not to damage the screen because that would be a bummer and no one wants to damage their own things. I mean, that would be stupid. Okay. Still not perfect, but if you want to actually clean this deeply, you should remove the glass, as I said earlier, and I'm not going to do that right now because I don't have the um, glue to replace it and I don't have a replacement part, so uh, that's not the day I'm doing it. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty difficult to get under it, so I'm gonna leave it as it is right now, unfortunately. Let's give a second wipe of alcohol on the front. And then we're gonna take some time to clean the buttons. Okay, a good wipe. And it should be ready to go. Let's see what else we can do on this part right here. Uh, I think we've done everything we can to properly clean it. So the edges, maybe a second wipe. Okay. Okay. And we're done. Let's now think about the buttons, which are the dirtiest part, of course. Uh, <coughs> you can use also some alcohol to clean it up. Okay. This part is pretty uh, clean. This is more dirty, so let's give it's some other alcohol, okay, and let's clean it up, okay, this should be better, also for the contact, because if it's cleaner it makes contact more easily, and let's clean the buttons by themselves, okay. Uh, 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 uh. It's actually pretty difficult to get these buttons clean because of their sizes. They're too small to get them clean with only alcohol, so let's clean them with a spatcher. And there we go. Another uh, alternative to clean them off is just to take a glass. Uh, fill it with alcohol and let them inside it for a while <coughs> That would also clean them, but this is good enough. I would say so Let's replace them here Let's clean the shoulder button the left one Okay Hmm we can also use a spudger here, but uh, this comes pretty clean even with just alcohol, so this should be fine. Okay, this is clean. Let's take another piece of paper. <coughs> Sorry. And... <coughs> Oh my god, I 
actually made. I'm ass because I dropped some alcohol on my desk, but nothing to dramatic. Like, like yeah, air, there's a lot of alcohol, but I can just wipe it off and go back to clean all these little pieces. So no big deal. Let's clean this part right here. Okay. <coughs> this is pretty clean right now. Let's make the same for the right part. So right shoulder button. Okay. This is clean. Hmm, not perfect yet. So let's clean it with this potter right here. It's pretty dirty. Still, okay. Way better now. <coughs> and let's clean it. Okay. Okay, better. Way better. Let's also clean the metal contact part because why not? And let's clean the uh, plastic side. Okay. There you go. Now A and B <coughs> buttons and we should be ready to remount it. I think because we've cleaned everything I would say. So Okay, let's take this potter and clean the little hole for the A. Okay, there you go. Way cleaner right now. Let's give a let's give it a wipe. And this is the A button. I actually don't think that this webcam can focus. No. I think it has a stable focus. That's a bummer. <coughs> but I bought this webcam for like 19 euros on Amazon. So I can't pretend really a lot. So that's okay. <coughs> let's, make the same, let's make the same thing for the B. Let's clean these little contacts and there you go. It's clean. Let's clean the contact pads and we're done. Okay, a good wipe and we're done. Let's take this part, the display part, so we can replace the buttons and there we go. you can't really mistake them because the plastic parts are disposed in a different way so there's no way to um, place them in the wrong place sorry for the word Pan. <laughs> okay. This is also <coughs> placed correctly. Let's take this other plastic game pad. Let's place it. Uh, also, there are some holes right here and right here that correspond to some plastic parts. So even here, you can't mistake them. I've had the bottle of alcohol right next to me open. This is. I hope I don't spill it because I would be really pissed off, man. Uh, start and select buttons. Let's get it. Okay. Plastic parts. This is the uh, left one. Place them. 
there you go, <coughs> right one, same thing, pretty easy. And let's take the motherboard now and place it here. Let's uh, uh, take this ribbon cable for the display a little bit outside. Okay, this should be everything. Oh no, the speaker, right? It can make you some problems because you need to align the speaker to the speaker grill but here you go it just snapped in place uh right here what's the matter that it doesn't fit properly okay the shoulder button needs to be placed after you place the model we can remount the volume rocker also the power switch sorry the volume rocker is here and you can't take it off is the power switch okay and we can replace the <coughs> two screws on the motherboard which are this little two one, one screw right right here oh fuck the plastic part Okay, and another screw right here, I think. <coughs> yep, this is the correct spot. Now we need to reconnect the uh, ribbon cable for the screen. You can use some tweezers or just your hands, both are just fine. I'm gonna use my hands because it's way easier. And you need to click these two plastic pieces. Okay, you need to check them. Boom, then we can replace the back part, which is this one. Okay, everything's in place oh the power button just moved a little bit so we need to fix this so it's stuck work okay nice let's replace it okay let's make sure the screws are tight boom Let's place the back cover. It made a snap. I think you can hear it. Let's first uh, screw this fill up and screw. Okay. Then let's replace the six Y shaped screws. I'm not sure how they're called. One. Oh, let's place it here. Two. Let's place them all. Then I'm gonna tie them. No, otherwise I forget the one that I I've already tied and the one that I need to. So we are at four, five, and six. Let's tie them. <coughs> and we're ready to replace the batteries. IKEA batteries, by the way, nice. Uh, place the back shelves again and let's see if it yes it turned on just fine actually the game isn't read properly why okay 
Let's check for the speaker. It also makes sound. So everything's fine. And it's way more clean. So let's replace it. Oh, why you can't see me? What the hell happened? Hey webcam, what's up? Webcam. Oh, what's the problem with the webcam? I don't know, I'll use my phone then. P -p -p. Okay. So, uh, thanks for watching. This is how you tear down a uh, game by advance. It's pretty easy. If you've got one to clean, do it. No real issues. So this is it for today's lives. Live. Thanks for watching.